So, what am I doing today? I am making a massive vegetable korma. There we go, I nearly forgot. I'm in a different kitchen today. I've been sent to the basement because I've been a bad lad. Anyway, um, the idea is the meal is for 35 people, 30 people, 35 people. Um, and uh, there's some onions. There we go. Um, there's two big pans and there's a load of vegetables, coconut, milk, courgettes, uh, red lentils, peppers, carrots, pumpkins and butternut squash. There we go, nearly got it all right. Um, so I'll crack on and I'll come back at various points and I'll show you where I am. All right, nice to see you all anyway. Enjoy, bye. Boo, time for onion shopping. Right, what we're doing now? We are finished with the onions to start with, chopping them anyway. There we go, two big pans, ready to rock. There we are. Um, I'm going to add some oil to those now, fry them off, cook them off, adjust my glasses, um, dry my eyes, uh, and then I'm going to prep butternut squashes. I'm going to do those, okay, and then um, I've got carrots. Uh, pumpkins, red peppers, and some courgettes. There we go. Got a bit of work to do, haven't I? All right, catch you later on. Hello again. So we have onions cooking away. There we go. Cook, cook, cook. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Okay, the other thing we've got is, I'm gonna spin you around again. We've got some courgettes, we're gonna use those, and I'm gonna do little baby pumpkins now. Okay, and chop those up, okay and then uh, the pile of vegetables is going down slowly. The butternut squash is in the oven, that's cooking, okay, and then I'll catch you a bit. All right, see you soon, bye. Okay, onions are going soft nicely, sweating off, cooking off, okay. I've got some ginger and garlic here. I'm being a bit lazy today, but I'm killing two birds with one stone. I'm not really killing any birds, okay. It's a figure of speech. Don't get on your high horse. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, um, so I'm going to add a generous spoonful of this when I get it open. There we are. Okay, and then um, I'll come back. There we go. That is that there. That's the chilli and garlic. That there's the chilli and garlic. What I'm going to do now is give it a good stir and then add some red lentils, some coconut milk, uh, and some other bits and pieces. Okay, see you soon. Coconut milk. Have a look at this. We've got 10 tins of coconut milk. Okay, I'm going to open all those now and then pour it into the onions to make a nice korma sauce. Creamy, coconutty, um, with a little bit of flavour. Spices I'm going to be using today is tandoori masala, um, a little bit of chilli powder, turmeric, cumin, and a little bit of coriander. Garlic and ginger has already gone in, okay. Um, and I'm going to add a little bit of salt a bit later on, just see how flavours go. All right, see you soon. Right, in go red lentils. Um, because this is for 30, 35 people, there's a kilo of red lentils there. I think that's a kilo. No, it's two kilos. I'm going to use about a kilo, okay. So it's literally. about 500 grams because I want this to make a nice smooth sauce. Next I'm going to add the coconut milk. So coconut milk opened, uh, five of these going in. and pouring gently so it doesn't splash everywhere um, 
if you get coconut milk stains on your trousers, people get the wrong idea and think you've been doing naughty things or nice things, however you want to look at it. So five of these into each pan, okay. Um, and I'm going to I'm going to clean these tins out in a little bit, okay. Right, so that's five into that pan, okay, um, so you get the idea, take your wooden spoon, give it a good stir round, okay, that's a nice pinky colour if I show you. There we go that's what that looks like okay so next bit i'm going to add some spices tandoori masala roughly two two teaspoons chili powder one third of a teaspoon one third only a little bit turmeric two teaspoons Coriander, two teaspoons. Last but not least, cumin, two teaspoons. You got that? Yep. Right, tube of tomato puree. All right, what I'm gonna do is turn the heat down because I don't want the onions to cook. Where are we? Down to two. Down to two, there we are, and then uh, pretty much a whole tube of this, okay? So, or rather, half and half. There we go, no, that goes that, okay. Um, now, what am I going to do? Bear with me. Right, this is what I meant by cleaning the tins out and getting most of this coconut milk as I can in, into the pan. I've got a hiccup now. So, spatula, okay, mind your fingers on these. Literally scrape off and scrape out as much as you can, all right. We've got so to these these two pans here i've added maybe a liter of water to both okay that's basically to get the lentils to cook to make into a nice sauce and then in a little while i will be using a hand blender to blitz it all up there we go all right um so I'll leave you in suspenders to see what it's like in a little while. Okay, that's your spices gone in. There we go. Looks a bit mucky murky. Um, but this will basically form a sauce. Okay. And eventually, with the lentils, it'll be nice, thick and creamy. I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit. Okay. There we go. All right. So, the last little bit, hand blender, corner sauce. Okay, ready for this? I'm going to carry on blending. I'll see you later on. What we got? Butternut squash. One of them, really. I've taken its head off and taken its legs off. Okay, so, basically, um, trimming it, skinning it. Get the idea? Good. So, we've taken its coat off. Alright, there we go. Raw. 
um, cut it in half. These are quite tough. You've got to watch your fingers using this with that. Um, they're quite tough. Anyway, that's what it looks like in between. Now, we take a spoon, put that to one side, and then basically we just dig out all the seeds. All right. Sometimes easier to break it off. There we go. Little dangly bits. There we go. Put that over there. This bit will clean out. And all I'm doing is just scraping it with a spoon. That's all it is. All right. You can't see it because I'm doing it towards me. Um, and then I'm going to roast these, put a little bit of oil on them, a little bit of salt and pepper, um, and just chunk them into like inch squares, something like that, um, and then roast them. Okay, that's all I'm going to do. Right, see you in a bit. So the other thing we've got, little pumpkins. There we go, four of them, 25 pence each. Um, I'm going to do the same as with the butternut squash. I'm going to basically peel them, chop them up, and then uh, I'm going to roast those as well. There again, with a little bit of pepper, maybe a little bit of cumin, a little bit of tandoori masala, give them a bit of flavour. Da -da -da -da. Today it's about flavour, it's not about fire. I'm not going to burn anyone's gob off with um, 10 tablespoons of chilli powder. Um, with a korma, it's nice, it's creamy, it's coconutty. There's flavour there, there isn't fire there, okay? That's what we're doing. Haha, -ha, hello. Right, okay, now we have courgettes cooked off. There we go. Do, 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 do. They're cooked off. Um, we are doing peppers. They go into a big pan. They're going to be roast off, okay? And the sauce, or the actual korma sauce, there we go, working nicely. All right, sorted. See you soon. Right, hello, I'm back. Um, peppers, they roasted off. Um, quite nicely, not mushy soft, okay, um, and not rock hard. So you've got a little bit of a bite to them because vegans and vegetarians have teeth. Mm, there you go, I've got teeth, all right. Um, so they're done now, uh, the sauce is done now, other things are done now. I've just got carrots and pumpkins to go um, on the last leg, okay. See you a bit later on. So, still in the kitchen, knife, carrot, carrot, knife, me. Me carrot knife, me knife carrot. Anyway, enough nothing. Basically, what I'm doing now is chopping up the carrots. They're going into this air tray with a little bit of oil, some rock salt, um, and then they're going into the oven to roast off as well. I may add a little bit of cumin with them. There we go. Um, just to give them a little bit of flavour. The carrots will add to the sweetness of the korma sauce. Okay, um, basically, there we go, that's what we do, last two carrots, do 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 um, so it's been quite an afternoon of chopping, prepping, cooking, obviously you're not going to cook for 35 people at home, I don't know, you might do, um, but anyway, <laughs> that's why it's taken so long, a lot of preparation, um, uh, a lot of cooking, okay. Um, but what I'll do, I'll show you. Whoop, come here. These are the sauces now. There we go. Um, they're cooling down, uh, so they're ready. Full of lentils, full of loveliness, okay. Um, so they're ready. What I will then do is add the roast veg to that later on, and I've got plenty of that. But I'll, I'll come back to you for that. All right. All right. See you soon. All right. All right, all right. Pumpkin, knife, knife, pumpkin. Okay, easiest way to chop them up. Take the top off it. Take the bottom off it. Take the sides off it. Here we go, 
trim around the base. And there you have it. The thing to do now is chuck that lot in the bin in a minute and then chop this in half. You see inside? All these basically we take a spoon and we just scrape them out. There we go, let me put that outside. Yep. There we are, yeah. Get the last of the seeds out. Um, you can separate the seeds, dry them, roast them, and have roast pumpkin seeds if you so desire. Okay, um, it's up to you. I, there we go, that's how it looks like. I won't be doing that tonight. Okay, I'm getting tired a little bit. So um, I'm gonna crack on. I've got other ones that I did here. I'm going to sort of fry those off. Okay, and then I'll come back to you. All right, love you. Right, I've finished. Time to eat a little bit. There we are, that's what it looks like. Um, it looks good. It tastes pretty good. Wait for this. Nice, creamy, coconutty. Camera's jumping around a little bit. Sorry, folks. Um, Nice and smooth. With chunks of vegetable in. Okay, not mushy, not hard. But there we are. Um, like, subscribe, try it at home. I'll write in a list of ingredients in, if I'm trying to get rid of these reflections from the camera, you see, bane of my life, but anyway, that's where that goes. Um, so I'll write a list of ingredients in the description. Okay, try it, enjoy it. Um, invite me around, I'll come and make it for you. At a cost, naturally. Okay, right, so love you and leave you. Um, like, subscribe, comment, do what you want. Okay, be good, love you all. Bye.